Hi guys, Miss Carla here again and with Larry the Ladybug. And we're ready to tell you a story, but you know what Larry told me? Larry told me he misses you guys a lot. He told me that he really is missing his hugs. I mean, come on, Larry got so many hugs every day, so let's give Larry a hug. Okay, everyone pretend Larry's in your arms, put your arms around you, squeeze really hard, go mmm. Okay, one more time, give him one more hug. Mm. Larry, did you feel those? Did that make you feel better? He says it made him feel a lot better. He misses you guys so much. Well guys, before we do our story today, I have something important to talk to you about. Yesterday was a really important day. It was Mother's Day. That's right, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. I hope you guys were good to him yesterday. You treated him good. Maybe made him breakfast, I don't know. But I hope you did something really nice because it was Mother's Day and we love our mothers. So since it was Mother's Day, we're gonna read a story called, Are You My Mother? I don't know, let's find out. Okay. Are you my mother? A mother bird sat on her egg. See the bird sitting on the egg, guys? The egg jumped. Oh no, said the mother bird. My baby will be here. He will want to eat. I know you guys are always hungry, so she probably figured the baby was gonna be hungry too. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I'll be back. So she flew away. So look, she left her egg laying there and she flew away. The egg jumped and jumped and jumped and jumped. And out came a baby bird. Oh, look at the baby bird. Where is my mother, he had. Hmm. He looked for her. I don't see her anywhere. He looked up. He did not see her. He looked down. He did not see her. I will go and look for her, he said. So away he went. Down out of the tree he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. He couldn't fly. He's just a baby bird. The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly but he could walk. Now I will go find my mother, he said. So look, he's gonna walk off and go find his mother. He did not know what his mother looked like. He went right by her. He did not see her. Look, he's on that side and she's over here and he didn't see her. He came to a kitten. Are you my mother? He said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. It didn't say a thing. Is that his mother, guys? What do you think? Yeah, no. The kitten was not his mother, so he went on. He came to a hen. Are you my mother, he said to the hen. No, said the hen. So I guess the hen's not his mom. The kitten was not his mother, and the hen was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. I have to find my mother, he said. But where? Where is she? Where could she be? Then he came to a dog. Are you my mother, he said to the dog. I am not your mother. I am a dog, said the dog. Hmm. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother and the dog was not his mother. So now the baby bird went on and now he came to a cow. You think this is his mother? Are you my mother? He said to the cow. How could I be your mother? Said the cow. I'm a cow. So the kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. Did he have a mother? What do you guys think? Does he have a mother? Of course he does. I did have a mother, said the baby bird, 
I know I did. I will find her. I will. I will. Now the baby bird did not walk. He ran. Then he saw a car. Could that old thing be his mother? No, it could not. The baby bird did not want to stop. He ran on and on and on. I think the car kind of scared him. What do you guys think? Now he looked way, way down. Hmm. He saw a boat. There she is, said the baby bird. He called to the boat, but the boat did not stop. The boat went on. Is the boat his mother? Yeah, I don't think so. He looked way, way up and he saw a big plane. Here I am, mother, he called out, but the plane did not stop. The plane went on. Do you think the plane's his mother? No. Just then, the baby bird saw a big thing. This must be his mother. There she is, he said. There's my mother. Do you think that's his mother? Hmm. Let's find out. He ran right up to it. Mother, mother, here I am, mother, he said to the big thing. But the big thing just said, snort. Oh, you are not my mother, said the baby bird. You are a snort and I have to get out of here. Snort. But the baby bird could not get away. The snort went up. It went way, way up and up, up, up went the baby bird. Look, it's going high into the sky. But now, where was the snort going? Oh no, oh, what is the snort going to do with me? Get me out of here. Guys, where's the snort taking him? Oh boy. Just then, the snort came to a stop. Where am I, said the baby bird. I wanna go home, I want my mother. Then something happened. The snort put the baby bird right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Look, the baby bird's back in his nest. The snort took him home. Just then, the mother came back. Do you know who I am, she said to her baby. Yes, I know who you are, said the baby bird. You are not a kitten. You are not a hen. You are not a dog. You are not a cow. You are not a boat or a plane or a snort. You are a bird and you are my mother. Oh look, the mother and the baby bird are back together again in their tree up there. Oh, that was a sweet story. I don't know about you guys, but I hope your mothers are close so you can see them and say, hi mom, I love you, happy Mother's Day. Otherwise, start searching the house and see if you can find them but watch out for those big, scary snorts. Bye, guys.